Okay, so I'm uh, I'm sitting here and it is the night before um, I run this half marathon tomorrow. Um, I'm not really ready or fully prepared. I am. Um, I wouldn't say nervous, but you know, you know, you're in for some hard work, you know, tomorrow, and I'll be pretty tired. Uh, the good thing about it, though, is that I, I know I'll feel pretty good once the race is done. Um, the one crazy thing is we got to get up super early. We got to get up like 5 a.m. Uh, to get ready for the race, which is uh, which is going to be a trip. Um, but uh, I'm ready. You know, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, um, I uh, had, had a good day of work, spent some time with the kids. Um, we went to see uh, that Marvel, Captain Marvel. We went to see Captain Marvel, which which was not a bad movie. I mean, it was very political, had a huge political agenda. But, uh, you know, definitely a big feminist agenda. And all it was, it was, it was basically preaching about illegal immigrants and all that other stuff and all of that, <clears throat> you know. So, but that's what white people do. White people own Hollywood. They make it into whatever they want. And, um, but yeah, yeah. So I'm uh, getting ready for tomorrow. I, don't, I hope it's not cold. And, um, and I'm going to make sure I have something in my stomach before I run. That's my big concern with those long races, you get hungry, you know, and so I've got jelly beans and protein bars and, you know, these little energy jelly beans that you take that give you more energy. And um, as you can see, my energy is low because I'm about to go to bed. But uh, yeah, so I, I want to encourage you guys, you know, the reason I talk to you about this whole weight loss journey and uh, everything else is because I want to encourage you. I, I have I feel so good, you know, that I changed my life and started working out a little more. Um, you know, I, I feel st I'm stronger because I've, I've been, you know, lifting weights, um, the running, I don't really run fast or run hard. I just, I just run, you know, I just run. And then when I get tired, I walk then I run again, then I walk and I run again and walk. We do intervals like that. So it's not as bad as you think, you know, um, I want to encourage you to give it a try. I think you're going to like it. And, um, you know, that's it. Those are my thoughts. I, I saw the New York times is starting to, um, they're writing articles about reparations now and MSNBC is finally admitting that reparations is a huge political issue coming into this 2020 uh, presidential election. And, um, and I'll tell you, it's going to be interesting. You know, you got a lot of people that ain't going to vote if they don't um, give reparations. If they don't, you know, consider reparations for slaves, which they know is the right thing to do. They just don't know if it's the white thing to do. It's the right thing to do, but it might not be the white thing to do. Um, anyway, let me... Uh, Give you some uh, some wisdom before we bounce out. I'm gonna check in the books power, the book Poweronomics by Dr. Claude Anderson. I'm gonna randomly pick a page and I'm gonna read from that page and give you some insights into that. Okay, this is page 66. He says, developing a true sense of community. What is a sense of community and why is it important? A sense of community is the collective thinking, seeing, and behaving as a we, not as a me. Social integration has intensified our need for a strong sense of community or a sense of peoplehood. Having abandoned their quasi-communities, cultures, schools, and businesses for the integration promised land, many black Americans cannot easily return to physical communities that are primarily black. Those who cannot return can exercise an option. They can identify with black physical communities and organizations via their mindset, actions, and support. This strong identification and support is what is commonly referred to as a sense of community or a sense of peoplehood. It is what people feel when they have a strong psychological identification with the physical community and its inhabitants. They are attracted to and desire the cultural familiarity, security, and satisfaction they receive from association with these communities. The psychological damage blacks have experienced as a result of slavery, Jim Crow segregation, and racism will pose significant challenges to developing uh, a strong sense of community, the, the psychological damage. So basically what um, he's saying right here in Poweronomics is uh, he's basically saying that, you know, we've been trained to not want to be around each other, he's, you know, and that this hurts us. And I, and I was thinking about this as I watched Captain Marvel, the movie. I, I saw at the end of the movie how you had all these people, you know, like literally probably over a thousand people that were listed on the closing credits. I'm watching the closing credits and they were like 20 minutes long. And all these names, just all these names from set designer, costume designer, technology, production assistant, all of that. And, uh, and it kind of helped me to put in perspective just how many people have to be on the same page to produce, you know, a movie, just a movie, right? And, uh, 
And so um, I thought about our community and I said, you know, what projects do we have that are out here? You know, building our own school system, um, building a massive corporation. Like what project do we have as a community that's requiring thousands of black people to get on the same page where all black people are, are on code, everybody's doing what they're supposed to do, relationships are being managed, nobody's fighting and cutting anybody off, nobody's pretending to be Superman saying I can do it all by myself, you know, all of that. Um, I can't think of anything. I really can't. Not in the not in the conscious intelligent community. I mean, you know, I speak to intelligent black people and that's what my tribe is. My tribe is the tribe of intelligent black people. And uh, and basically, I don't see a whole lot of projects out there like that, where we're all sort of working together and chipping in. And, and it really speaks to the challenges we have in terms of organiza organizational skill. <laughs> And us really coming together. Even I have that challenge. I mean, I'm a scholar and a teacher, but then I started realizing that I had some things I wanted to work on as, as a leader, you know, as a um, as a connector, you know. And I realized the importance of maintaining, you know, strong relationships. And it's hard. It's hard because Negroes love to fight, you know. But then again, you know, I got this fighting Irish shirt on, and you know, Irish people fight. That's what they're known for. Right now, St. Patrick's Day, or St. Patrick's Month or something, and they're all drunk and fighting and all that stuff. But even they can come together and create stuff on their on their own, you know. And I think um, ultimately uh, we can do the same thing. And I encourage us to consider, you know, what that's going to look like, what that means for our people. So anyway, I'm going to go in here and go to bed. I'm getting ready for this race tomorrow. I am I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit drained and tired already. But I'm going to get up and I'm going to do it. It's going to be fun, and I'm going to uh, be glad I did it, you know, because. Uh, I'll tell you what, like I said, this this weight loss journey has been extraordinary. I encourage you to just just get off the couch, just do a little something, something, you know, just do a little something for you. You ain't got to be a health nut. You know, I'm not a health nut at all, but uh, I do a little bit, and, and that little bit makes a huge difference. So take care, guys. Have a good night, and I'll check in with you guys later when it's time to do the race. I'll probably check in during the race, before the race, after the race, and uh, let you guys know what's going on. So take care. And if you want to get a copy of Poweronomics and any other books, Go to drboycebooks.com. That's drboycebooks.com. There's books. There's um, financial workbooks. There are flashcards. There's all kinds of stuff. Also, you know about Blag Enough, B-L-A-G-G-E-N-U-F, B-L-A-G-G-E-N-U-F. That's our social media platform for black people. Uh, we have a lot of cool stuff. And uh, also, please hit the subscribe button and all that on this channel. Uh, subscribing and liking videos really makes a big difference in terms of strengthening our intelligent black media for the world. So we appreciate your help. That. So take care, everybody. Have a good night, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.